Hey everybody, uh, welcome to our Intro to LGBT Studies course. Uh, I'm Dr. Sullivan, your instructor for this semester, and I'm really glad you're here to uh, spend some time with me just walking through this video here. Uh, I'm just going to tell you just a little bit about the course, and then we're going to walk through a, a tour of the Canvas course page just so you can see what's there and how to navigate it. It's pretty simple and straightforward, but I uh, just want to take the time to do it. So, I, But again, I appreciate you being here. And one thing I wanted to say about our course is that uh, you should know that it is the only uh, like queer content course at our campus at Fresno City College and also in our entire uh, five campus districts. So it's the only one. So uh, we're special. Okay. And uh, I also have to say just a bit about myself or I am the only uh, cisgender male teaching a women's studies course. <laughs> I normally teach uh, psychology courses, but I've also been uh, allowed to uh, teach this course here too. And it's a great course. So I really get to let my hair down and talk about some things I normally don't get to talk about in my more sciency type of psychology courses that I teach. So it's great fun uh, for me and I hope you, uh, you like that too. Um, and uh, one thing I want to say about the course content is that a lot of it's going to be uh, really a uh, history, if you will, uh, the history of how uh, queer persons have been treated from uh, way back in ancient times all the way up until uh, the more present times here. We're going to take a look at some content areas like uh, politics, uh, activism, uh, medicine, especially psychiatry, how they have treated queer folk. Uh, we're also going to be taking a look at all kinds of uh, art, such as uh, books, poetry, music, film, lots of good stuff and what you're probably going to uh, really notice as we cover all that content is that there's been a real erasure of how uh, queer persons have actually either existed or contributed to all those various uh, content areas that I've mentioned there. There's been a real uh, just loss of uh, presentation that you don't normally get in other sorts of courses no matter what grade level we're talking about and so uh, part of this course is to remedy uh, that erasure and present uh, what queer people have actually done in all those areas. So again, I hope you uh, find that eye-opening because I know I did when I first learned about those things and just didn't realize how much really uh, erasure had been occurring there. And of course, I just want to add here that it'll be great for all of you to share your experiences, uh, especially in the classroom with discussions there. We'll uh, talk about a lot of these issues, and I really want to hear uh, your perceptions and, again, your own personal experiences with some of those content areas. It uh, really enhances the course, so I hope that you feel willing to uh, share those things. Okay, as I said a moment ago, I said we were going to have a little tour of our Canvas course page. So let's go ahead and uh, get started with that. And uh, when you arrive at our Canvas course page, you're going to land in what are called the modules area. I'm a one-stop shopper when it comes to my uh, course page designs for all of my courses. And everything you need to get access to is found in the modules area. You'll find different modules dedicated to certain course content that you will need to uh, succeed in our course. And I also want to mention, too, that make sure in your uh, Canvas settings that you have your announcements turned on. That is that you're able to receive them because like other instructors, uh, I communicate a lot with my students through announcements that I post through the Canvas course page. And you'll regularly get announcements about things like the existence of this Canvas course page, like you've probably already gotten there, uh, upcoming exam dates, uh, due dates for your paper you're going to write, etc. there. So it's just the way we regularly communicate. So make sure you've got those turned on so that you will get those in your uh, inbox so you're always on top of what's uh, happening there. Now, uh, when we when you arrive at our, our course page, you're going to land in this first module that says Start Here, which, of course, is a great place to uh, start. So you can see I've got some uh, content here, a welcome video, which you're watching right now. Uh, the syllabus is here, information about the textbook, an overview of our course page, a warning about using the uh, Canvas app. So make sure that you uh, walk yourself through all of those one by one so you just kind of get a sense of uh, what's out there. And I did just want to take a moment here to open up the uh, syllabus link here. So let's go ahead and uh, click that open and let it load here. And uh, what you'll find here is a little description about the syllabus, but the actual syllabus file right here, I do have a note here, and this is true for any sort of file that I have on a Canvas course page here, that if you click the name of the file, if you click the file name, pardon me, 
uh, you'll see what's called a preview mode of the file. If you click this little down arrow here, that's how you can actually download or save the file to your own device there. So let's just go ahead and just do a quick preview mode here. The syllabus is going to uh, open up on the screen here, hopefully soon. Okay, so you can see it here, and I do want you to take some time to look at the syllabus here, so please make sure you do. I will go over it in class a little bit there, but it's got lots of good information there about the content we're going to cover, some requirements, uh, the absence policy you can see here, uh, the grading scales on here as well, some information about the exams and uh, quizzes, uh, the short interview paper you're going to write there, uh, also here too about attendance and participation in small group activities. I am going to take attendance. I am going to rate your participation in the course and you are going to work in small groups from time to time on different things there. And so there's some grading that goes around all that which I describe here on the syllabus. So make sure you take some time to read it there. And uh, also here uh, as we kind of get towards the end of the syllabus, we have our course calendar, which has all of the uh, dates for each class meeting, the content we're going to cover. And importantly, as I've got bold faced and boxed in here, you'll see information about the exam. So the exam dates there for exams one, two, three, and four. And on the last page, you'll just see a summary of all of the four exams and all the chapters that are associated with each one of those exams. And also, again, their respective uh, dates there, just to kind of give you a heads up. But do read the detail on the syllabus there. It'll really uh, help you out to uh, get on top of what the course is going to uh, be about there and how it's going to work. Okay, well, let's go back to our modules area. I want to turn your attention now to the next module, the lecture outlines. I do describe them here. And what these outlines are, are these are actually Word files. They're written in Word, and you can use them to follow along in the lectures. You can uh, uh, download them. You can print them out. You can bring them to class, whatever you'd like to do there, and just help use them to uh, take notes there as I go through all the lecture content there. And so again, as they are files, just like we saw for the syllabus, if you go ahead and click on the file, it'll bring up the file for you and you can go ahead and click that to get into a uh, preview mode as soon as it comes up here. So you can see all that there. And these, this is all the content I'm going to go ahead and walk through as we go through a lecture. This is just happens to be for chapter one. And if you, uh, again, click the little down arrow here, that's how you download the, that file to your device. You can print it out and take notes on it, whatever you'd like to do. So I just wanted to uh, show you that. And again, you'll see outlines for each of our uh, chapters there. You can just scroll on down there. The next module is dedicated to what are called homework assignments, which I describe here. On a uh, per course section basis there, uh, I am going to, for each chapter in that section, I am going to assign a bit of homework there. This is content in a given chapter that I am not going to cover in the uh, lectures there. And uh, it will direct you to certain areas in our textbook there that I want you to read on your own and prepare some answers to some questions that I have there in the homework. You are going to take a uh, short quiz based on that homework and you are going to work, and this is described in the syllabus there, you are going to work together in small groups there to come up with what you think are the correct answers to the quiz questions uh, based on that uh, homework there. Let me go ahead and open one of these up so you can see what I'm talking about here. So I just clicked on the one for uh, section one there. You'll see there's four chapters there in section one, and these are the actual files. If I go ahead and uh, click on one of those and get it into uh, preview mode here, so we can see. So you can see uh, some of the content here that, that you'll be, you will be directed to in chapter one, some questions I want you to answer there, and prepare for your uh, chapter uh, quiz. So that's just one example of that. So. Uh, Nothing too complicated there. You'll see there's other homeworks there for the remaining uh, three chapters in section one. And again, you'll find that for each section of our course. And you will take a short group quiz based on this homework. And you will be allowed to work together. You will be allowed to use your books and your notes and each other to help come up with the right questions. So it's uh, pretty straightforward and uh, nothing to uh, get yourself uh, stressed about, uh, hopefully. 
Okay, our next uh, module here is for the study guides on a uh, uh, per exam basis. I do prepare study guides for you to help you uh, get ready for your exams there. And when you uh, open any of those uh, up here, I'm going to go ahead and do one of those. Uh, pay careful attention there to the information you find that's italicized with some asterisks all around it because you're going to find there's a couple of short answer essay questions on each exam and that italicized material in the study guide is the content that those essay questions is going to be based on. So a uh, big hit, hint, hint, hint there to help you get ready for that. So do prepare that content uh, well. So I just opened up the study guide for uh, exam one or section one of the course. Again, it covers four chapters. Here's the file link. When you click that, it'll throw you into preview mode. You can go ahead and use the down arrow again to download it onto your device. And here's uh, what the uh, study guide looks like here. And as best as I can show it here, but just kind of look through it. It's all detailed there for you. And again, you will find a couple of areas like one area that's coming up right here with asterisks and italicized there. That's going to be uh, the content that one of the short answer essay questions is based on. So make sure you pay careful attention to that so you can uh, do well on those uh, essay questions. All right, our next uh, module now on our course page is this one here, Websites and Videos. So on a per chapter basis, and I don't have content for every chapter, but for the chapters where I found some really good extra material, there are uh, links to various websites and videos and uh, articles from uh, the press or research papers there that talk about content that's relevant to our course again on a per chapter basis a select chapter basis i should say again and some of that content i will go over in class some of those videos i'll show in class and some i will just ask you to maybe take a look at on your own because it's really interesting stuff because i i try to find interesting stuff and not the boring stuff but i do uh, remember to take a look at those, and I will remind you that, hey, there's some extra material there on our Canvas course page regarding this particular chapter, so uh, check that out. Our uh, next module here is for the uh, interview paper. You are going to write a short paper as described in your syllabus there. You're going to interview uh, someone else who uh, has a queer identity. It could be any sort of queer identity. And you're going to ask them a number of questions that I've already written for you, but you're also going to write one uh, question on your own so you get to have your own creative idea there interfaced with this interview. Uh, you'll see there's an instruction area here. There's a submission area for your paper. All the details you need to know are found there, but just kind of letting you know there about that. So definitely uh, check that out when you get a chance there. And I will bring it up in class as we get closer. You will get reminder announcements about it too, but it's a pretty interesting uh, experience. Most of my students report there because they've never really done an interview with somebody and had them tell them about their life. So you get a chance to do that and it uh, usually goes really well. So. Okay, now our last module on our course page is gradebook information. Here I just put together some information for you on how the Canvas gradebook works and some uh, function functionality that it has. And also it's got that nifty what if function some of you may know about there where you can plug in scores for assignments you haven't yet earned points for just to kind of see how it's all going to shake out in the end. That's especially helpful to students towards the end of the semester. But all that information is there in this module. So definitely uh, check that out. Well, okay, that was our brief overview of the course and our uh, Canvas course page, our little tour that we took there. So I hope you uh, found it helpful. Uh, of course, if you got any questions about anything, uh, just reach out via the Canvas email system and shoot me a note there, and I'll be glad to get back to you. I do check my email pretty regularly uh, on a daily basis, even on the weekends, so uh, expect a reply fairly soon. And if you don't get one fairly soon, like say within a day uh, at least, uh, you might want to try it again because maybe for some reason I just didn't get the uh, email for whatever reason. There are glitches once in a while, but usually everything works out just fine. So again, welcome to our course. I'm glad you're here, uh, queer and non-queer alike. Everybody's welcome. Everybody has things that they can learn here. And again, I look forward to uh, seeing you in person in class and we can uh, talk about all this uh, really great content and uh, hopefully learn from each other a bit there too. So uh, I know I've got things to bring to the table and I'm sure you do too. So uh, I look forward to that. So I will see you uh, in class.